Hello and welcome everyone to a new video on my channel Andy from Collecting Trade here and today we're unboxing something very special from the Rise TCG universe specifically Candy Pocalypse Sample English there's also a French version but today we're going to look at a few boosters English only many many people are eagerly awaiting the Candy Apocalypse set yes hot they are really into it and yeah it's definitely themed with yes with sweets so this is about sweets about sweets about candy that's what this is about just the display as we see it already looks super super nice we have a candy coma on top of it the artwork of it uh respectively the boosters all look the same the display looks like this as i am showing you now uh not that many details on it the trading card gameplay of the reliquary book of loops and the sample thingamajig the important thing in there of course are the cards a display has 24 boosters and you can get a booster if you buy beta boxes also pre-ordered booster boxes from the beta set and i would say let's open four or five boosters today and yeah let's just take a look at it there's not much to see on the boosters themselves except that it is just a card game and temple cards and that there are 10 cards per booster each booster will contain 10 cards four of which are not holographic and six holo cards different fall patterns but let's take a closer look at them now how does that look what do the cards look like what can we expect in the real set maybe about this is not the final product these are sample cards that's for sure you always have to keep that in mind if you see any mistakes here if you see anything yes if something bothers you feel free to share it in the comments because then francois might be able to tweak it here we have creamia card 661 bottom left we see the set numbering again yeah I, I hope you can see it there and the en24 edition english cards from the year 2024 and even the non-holographic cards are now only in this set here with the texture on the card as we can see here yes it shines it has texture really cool thing actually i would say Yes, exactly. This card, Cassandra, the Cassandra card number four, a rare one. And also the symbol down here, the set symbol in the rarity stamp has changed. Very, very cool. You will definitely feel free to write in the comments. What were your favorite cards from this opening? And what is your favorite foil effect? Here we have Nama the Queen. And I think it's really cool that the non holo cards now have a texture on them. What do you think? Does it appeal to you? Do you think they should maybe be smooth, like in alpha and beta? Or do you think it should be maintained that the structure is there? I mean, the structure, Francois is working on it anyway for the holographic cards. So why not also for the non holos here? Uh, print. First holo, blood fragment. A common card here, a holo card 87, very strong red. But very, very nice, definitely. The second holo. So this is the standard holo effect, right? Very, very normal holo. Nothing special, no other additional effects. A uh, car, except for the pattern, or rather the structure pattern banana 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 side card 38 banana psycho absolutely he looks like a psycho then the next card is creamier in cracked ice holographic it's nice we already know from the beginning of the booster that furious hmm a zombie again like we know them from the other sets zombies cannot be missing even when it comes to sweets candy fairy Yes, we have the candy fay here. Card 55 in glitter holographic. That means we have the three holo effects. We have glitter, we have cracked ice, and we have standard foil. What is your favorite among these? 
feel free to write it in the comments. Nice, everything looks very good to me. And here we have dazzling sunshine, wow. Of course, we already know some of the cards from world pack number two, because inside there were the test full arts and stuff. I don't think we can pull any full arts in here. So these are just the normal cards in this sample, but that almost looks like a full art to me. So they are really very beautiful. Let's look into the pig booster. Yes. So my favorite is, I think, from the first booster now, the Dazzling Sunshine. I don't know why, but it looks so nice. Okay, next pack. Pinky. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Can we maybe tone it down a bit here? Exactly. Pinky number 64. <laughs> looks like, what is she doing right now? Does she have a fireball that she walks or what? Pinky, fairy, definitely a fairy. Then red, licorice, licorice, candy, licorice, licorice, candy. Card 87. A candy, who doesn't know it? Who doesn't know them from Haribo, I think, right? Then the noodle dragon. I don't know what noodles have to do with candy, but it's definitely something to eat, so it could already fit thematically. Um, 35... A dragon really cool sugar candy here we have the card that appears on the boosters yes the artwork that is on the boosters number 116 sugar candy beautiful beautiful card a lady holding a giant lollipop then we have zenith i hope i'm pronouncing it right so um damn it also a very very beautiful card i don't know why this is an end camera i think it could already be a legendary judging by the artwork amazing right amazing for whatever reason probably because of the play strength here bloody clover here the second standard hollow the standard hollow by the way has a bit of a rainbow effect i would say you can see the different colors shining through the cards then we have the next candy card here in cracked ice a mint candy number 82 looks very strong too Oh my god, beautiful. Sugar Coma, one of my favorite cards from the vault. And especially from Prestige 2023, where you could achieve the full art with the gold stamp. Here we have them as legendary again in correct eyes. Wow. Amazing. So, in terms of quality, I have to say the cards all look really, really good. Yeah, I don't see any damage or anything like that. That definitely suggests that the actual print, the right print, will also... Um... What a pack. There are two legendaries in it. We also have mint candy here. In glitter filled. And then again, the next legendary. The seasoning guard in glitter. Nice. So, here I am again. We finished with the second booster and this card. Yes, full memory storage, do it. Coffee 31, also the legendary, very nice story. I don't think I even need to mention my favorite because Candy Coma, I think you could tell from the reaction. So how is that pack going? Distress, uh, rare, very nice. The lady looks a bit sad, but you can't always be happy. Right? Banana Psycho in non holographic, but of course, still here with the Hellbore pattern. Nice. That was also a full art card in set two, which you could have pulled, for example. See you next time. Red Licorice Candy in normal holo, Aloqua. We also know from the Vault 2 pack. Uh, also a cool artwork, in my opinion. Then we have the Mint Candy in Cracked Ice again. I think we saw this in the previous pack. Poisoned. A new eye here. The button has done a bad job. Brack dice. Nice. Next card. Uh, a candy clover. But that's just a common card here. Not so rare. Candy. I think candy should be a set. So a new main set, of course. But should also be something for collector. As far as I understand it. And from the way the cards look here, I can definitely confirm that. What kind of holo effects we end up getting isn't quite clear yet, I think. 
cold dropped. Find cold. Rare card here. Nice. Okay, there wasn't a huge banger in there, I would say. So nothing that really surprised me. But of course, it doesn't have to be that way in every booster. The card somehow flew away, it seems. Oh, it was still in there. Wow, booster in there. So, fourth booster. We know Candy Fairy, we've seen it already. Then Candy Moffer. Card, Farty Fife. Uh, when Candy Moffer enters the game, it copies the target fish creature on its battlefield. Okay. So it is actually a Morpher card. Bloody Clover. Nice, we have already seen that in holographic form. And here we have Lucky Charm. Another cool, beautiful card. It was also available in Vault 2 as full art. Clown Gourmet. Hello there. He looks mean. Like a head chef. Thanks a lot for watching. And see you next time. Mia. Also a very, very beautiful card. A normal holo here with a rainbow effect. Card number three. Summon. Uh, let's say Amia summons a ranked infinity angel creature. Noise. Thank you. Okay then. Oh, one, 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 one. Five angel from graveyard. Oh, nice. So it's basically an angel support card, right? Candy Clover here in Cracked Ice again. Uh, Candy Apocalypse. The Candy Apocalypse legendary as Cracked Ice here. Strong. Will this breathing tube be on the right display then? Who knows? Who knows? Sounds almost like it. Then we definitely have another legendary at the end here. Emorgia. On 14. Another eye. I don't know if we've seen this before, but what else do we have? 127. Another uh, sweet clover flower. Nice. The next legendary card in here. Yes, we all know the LCF, the light clover flower. Here we have the sweet clover flower. My god. Hard to pronounce with the glitter effect here. Nice. The boosters with two legendary strings. I really, really like them. And I would say, if it goes well, we'll actually open another one. I was considering maybe doing a Discord or a live event or something. But huh? Why? Let's make a cool video out of it. Now I still four left, I think. At least currently Candy Fairy. We already know Red. We also know Lucky Charm. Milk Candy. Yes, Mia is the cat of Forsoir, the creator. And here as a little treat, just once. Also a funny idea. Vanet, another regular holo. We already know. Alakwa, regular holo. We already know. First for blood and cracked eyes. Looks wicked. What I'd still like to pull is the burnt witch. That would be cool. Cotton candy cat. Nice, also cool. Yes, I'm a cat lover. And I am happy about every card that shows or reflects a cat. Red licorice candy. So, and lastly in here, we have a helleboard in glitter. Nice. You know what? Let's open the last four here as well. Today, here and now. Today, here and now. Because the video was briefly paused yes. earlier. Let's do that and see if we can pull a bird witch here. I don't even know if it's available in this sample. That's a question, right? But I'm just hoping for it. Very nice to be here again. Amazing. Here we have another one. Um, have we seen this one already? Or is this a new map? I saw some cards today on Discord and stuff. Yeah, if you're interested in these cards, if you're seeing this for the first time here, feel free to join the Discord server. Everything is in the video description. Check it out. Be part of the community. Seething God. Legendary. Non-holographic. Hemo yellow. Hemo yellow. Ah. Ah. I ah. will paint it red. In standard hollow. Nice. Hey. Where do we have it? Here again. The normal holographic candy apocalypse. I think we just had cracked ice, right? Uh, cool, um, 
I don't know if it's the strongest to play, but it's definitely an imminent card. Yes? Summoners lose 3 HP when you do anything. Okay. Infinite elimination. Elimination. I already had it as a full art from the... Vault 2 is mentioned often, I know, because you could draw these test cards here. Bloody Clover in. Crack dies done. Zenith in glitter, nice. They don't actually look to me like they were in stock. They're not, right? Nice. And the last card in here is a Banana Psycho in glitter. Hey, you. Awesome clothes. Yeah, so, uh, ultimately, how do you find the cards? Definitely write a review in the comments. I want to know from you. So you see, see you next how time. it works in Bye. English, French, Bye. and German too. Like how I'm trying to do it. This is my ambition. We know it. We know it too. Then support level up. A new card here that we see here today, at least in this opening. Nice card when uh, plague. Thanks for the interruption. Am I recording again? I'll have to piece it together again. Candy Clover in regular hollow here. Nice thing. That bloody Clover right after that. Now we come to the first cracked ice inside here. The Candy Fairy and behind it a candy sword. Nice. I wonder if it's similar in gameplay to another sword. What's it called again? I can't remember the name again. Yeah, I don't know either. Pinky and Glitter. And the last card in here, Alakwa. Again in Glitter Hollow. Wow, the backs of the cards look totally standard. Just as we already know. Black, rice and the texture on it. There's nothing particularly new. At least on the test cards, the stamps are gold. With the new logo in the corner and the one before that. Valid test cards. They were with a rainbow stamp. Okay. We now also know the cards. Oh, here we have the next one. Valhalla. Yes, that would be A. By the way, there is also, as far as I know, Many of these items, cards and characters, something about video games. Then you should look up what Franz Wader has done for video games in the past. Some things might seem familiar. Mint candy in normal hollow. Uh, Cassandra once again in normal hollow. Again in cracked ice, hollow candy coma. In cracked ice, nice. I think we had those in standard so far. It would be cool if we got all three variants of them. It's still hard to pull them from the last booster, but who knows, maybe I'll get lucky. Every time there's a legendary in there, there are two. That's amazing. Blood Fragment in Glitter. And the last one is a Seasoning Guard Glitter. I think I have this one twice now, right? Yeah, I have it twice. Because if you need them, one to trade, let's go. Let's complete our set from the sample candy. I help you, you help me, and then we both will... Are oh, everyone happy? Candy Clover. Mint Candy is non-hollow. Hellbow is non-hollow. Mirror Breaker, nice. Also a powerful card, as I understand it. As long as the Mirror Breaker is in play, no Mirror card can be played. So when you play the chain, no Mirror card can be played. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Candy Fairy Standard Hollow. My throat is a bit scratchy. <laughs> Lucky Charm. Standard Hollow. Awesome. Clown Gourmet. Then, oh yes, another legendary. That means we might have a chance for a second legendary in here. Sweet Clover Flower in Cracked Ice. Then the next card, a Bloody V. We haven't seen that here yet either. Bloody V. Glitter. Card 59, until the end of turn each time, uh, until next time, food card is invoked, bloody V gain 1 plus 1 plus 1 charge counter, and the last legendary in here is a candy booker looks nice in glitter. Have we pulled all of them now? Just checking. I'm curious about that. At least from this candy, 